And let me point out here as well that in this molecule, notice that there are not four different things attached to the center, but instead only three. So how do we define a center of chirality in a molecule? A carbon bonded to four different groups, in an example here we're using groups W through Z, is called a chirality center. When all of these are a chiral groups and all are different, we can also call this a chiral compound. So make sure you distinguish that you can have a chirality center. So this is just a point within a compound where you have four different groups where we will, we will define that as a chirality center. And normally this does, this does lead to the compound itself also being chiral. So use it with care. A chirality center can usually be used to identify a compound as chiral. However, and we'll talk about this more, molecules with more than one chirality center can be achiral. So actually having multiple chiral centers along the molecule can make it so that overall the molecule ends up being achiral. So here's just an example of defining a chirality center. In our top molecule, you can see this carbon is attached to four different groups. There's a hydrogen here. CH2CH3 is a group. OH, and this is just a CH3 group. So these are all four different groups, making this a chiral center. And overall, this molecule is also a chiral compound. However, if we change out just one of these groups, for example, if both of these are methyls instead, this is an achiral compound. It is not attached to four different things. It does not have a chirality center and it is also not a chiral compound. You can also have chirality centers in rings. So that note that any differences in ring groups make them distinct for the purposes of identifying chiral centers. For example, here, the starred carbon is a chirality center it's still bonded to four different groups. In this ring, if we look at this particular carbon, it has a CH3 group right here, a CH2 group to its left within the ring. It has a hydrogen on the carbon and there's an oxygen on it. So there are four different centers. And if we were to draw this without actually drawing out everything, it would look like this. So this carbon here is chiral. And again, here is the CH2 group it's bonded to. It has an oxygen here, has a CH3. And remember, carbon always makes four bonds. It has a hydrogen as well, but we're not showing it. In this Example below as well, another ring structure. Carbon number four here is a chirality center. So in this case, we're going to look along the ring and make sure that it is not, uh, we don't have the same thing on each side. So here, uh, the groups attached to this carbon, you can see there's this side group here, that's one group. This carbon also has a hydrogen on it, that is two groups. Now to decide if the other groups within the ring are different, you wanna travel along the ring and look if you come to anything different. So for example, if we want to compare this version of the ring to our original one. As we travel to the left here, we have a CH2 
And then we have this double bond here. So that's one, two away. Now, if we travel to the right, you can see that one, two away is a single bond. So it's different, making this side of the ring, this bond different than this bond. So this indeed does have four different groups attached to it. This carbon here, however, does not have four different groups attached to it because the group going along this side of the ring and the group going along this side of the ring are actually the same. They end up being even. And in that case, we cannot call them two different groups. So let's do a test question. How many chirality centers are in the molecule shown below? Well, we want to look quickly for places where there could be four different items attached. So usually just points along a hydrocarbon chain like this where you don't see any other attachments are not going to be chiral because we know that what is not shown are two hydrogens. And that already makes it so that there are not four different things because two things are the same. So let's test first where this OH group is. This carbon here has an OH group. It has a hydrogen. It has a CH3 group here, and it has generally the rest of this whole chain attached to it. So this is a chirality center. What about this OH group? This OH group here, again, has, there's an OH, there's a, this carbon has an OH attached to it, a hydrogen attached to it. It has this carbon with an OH and a CH3, and this CH2 with an OH. So again, this is a group that has four different things attached to it. It is a chiral center. Now, what about this carbon right here? This carbon also has an OH group on it. It has a hydrogen here, but it also has another hydrogen. And because it has two hydrogens, that means there are not four different things attached to it. And so it is not a chiral center. So this molecule has two chiral centers.